the night before I get the results for my scan. I wasn't freaking out until earlier. I got an x-ray and a CT scan. We're going to get a chest x-ray right now. Hey y'all, it's Lauren. Welcome back. This week I'm doing something a little different and I'm going to be posting three videos. This video is specifically going to be about ski anxiety and what it is. So if you want to learn more, then just keep watching. So anxiety is what it sounds like, scan anxiety, and the technical term is the uneasiness associated with waiting for results of scans or cancer scans, cancer detecting scans, whatever. It's just anxiety you get before a big scan result. I have experienced it. I know other cancer patients have experienced it, and it's a very real thing. It causes a lot of uneasiness, that's for sure. You're waiting to go in, and your mind is literally going through every scenario possible, the good, the bad, and everything in between. So one thing I think is really important to remember is to not set unrealistic expectations for yourself or unrealistic result expectations because it's going to end up disappointing you in the end. Let's say a scan is good, like the results came back good, but it wasn't as good as you had expected it to be. So because you set that high expectation for yourself, you can't be happy for the results you did get. If that makes sense, I've caught myself setting high expectations for my scan results and I ended up getting disappointed and I wasn't able to experience the joy even though my scan was still good. Um, and this specific situation I'm talking about is when I got my PET scan. The Duval scale is basically like a one and a three and basically you want the lowest number as possible. So I wanted to go in there and I was like I'm getting a zero or a one. This thing's gonna be gone and that was a very high expectation to me especially since my tumor was so big and the cancer was aggressive. And so I went in for my results and it was a Duval scale, scale of three and that was still considered in remission and I was and I was all good. I could ring the bell, I could celebrate, but there was still an ounce of me that was disappointed from those results because I had set those expectations for myself. And so I think to fix that is just to go into your appointment with an open mind and be open to celebrate whatever result you get, even if it's not the result you would hope for. If it's still good, it is something to celebrate. I wanna talk about my another personal experience with anxiety, and that was when I went in for my first post chemo checkup after three months. What had happened was I got my blood work done. I made a vlog about it. It was like the health update thing and I and I vlogged it if you want to go check that out. But I went in and I got my blood work done and the doctor came in and was like, hey your LDH is elevated. We're gonna we're gonna have you go get an x-ray. Um, to make sure that nothing is wrong and nothing has grown because the LDH or the lactate dehydrogenase is the, like the marker that indicated there was tumor activity in my body when I first got sick. So that's the number they're monitoring when I go in for my checkups. And if it is elevated, they want to go and get an x-ray to make sure everything is okay. And that is what happened. And I remember like as soon as he came in and told me that, I just started crying first of all. When we went in the waiting room to get my scan done, my mind went to the darkest places ever. And that was, we were only waiting in there for like 15 minutes. And I had already played every scenario, that scenario in my head. I was like, oh my gosh, my life is turning upside down again. That's what scan anxiety is. Cancer patients know what it's like to have your life literally flipped upside down in a day, in one single day. Not even in a single day, but like in a matter of minutes and the doctor comes in and tells you that you have cancer. And so our worst fear is that to happen again. And that is what causes so much anxiety for these scans because you want it to be clear you feel like your body is turned on you once and you're just so scared it's gonna happen again and that I think is what the root of ski anxiety comes from. And then once you get them, it's like the biggest sigh of relief ever. You feel like you can finally sleep again and think about other things besides your scan results. So anyway, after my elevated LDH and I got my x-ray back, the x-ray showed that my uh, mediastinum had shrunk down even more since the last time I got an x-ray. And we went in the next week for a follow-up and what had happened was the sample that I had gotten when my LDH was elevated was hemolytic. Hemolysis describes the rupture of red blood cells 
and release of their content, such as a hemoglobin or potassium, into the surrounding plasma. In a clinical environment, this type of blood sample contamination frequently happens because of improper specimen collection or poor sample handling techniques. They made a note on my my chart that my uh, sample had been hemolyzed, which means that it was handled incorrectly when the nurse was drawing it from my arm, or it was handled roughly in transportation to the lab, which caused the blood cells in the test tube to rupture and multiply, which would cause the inaccurate and elevated number of from my LDH. So we kind of got the explanation and that made me feel so much better. We went in the next week, everything was okay. So it was very scary in those moments when I was getting my scan, but in the end, everything was okay. The results were good. And what happens when you don't get the results you wanted? Well, you have to accept whatever is thrown at you because the outcome that is in front of you is inevitable and it was going to happen. It's out of your control. Just give yourself time to accept what is happening and no it is completely normal to feel what you're feeling just allow yourself to feel them not every day is going to be a positive day i still have days where i feel terrible it is crazy how physically exhausted you can feel when your mind is just in all of the wrong and dark places like it can really just make you feel exhausted and i've definitely had rough days and i just take those days and i process my feelings i write them down but sometimes you just gotta feel feels i'm telling you and trust me one bad appointment can make every appointment after that even more difficult than it already is just because you've had that bad experience so overall, how do I deal with scanxiety? I have a list of things that I wrote down that help me, maybe they can help you too. So number one, try not to overthink. Try not to let your mind spiral out of control to where you're feeling overwhelmed with anxiety and worry. I am terrible at this. I catch myself spiraling down a very dark path and sometimes I don't even think to stop myself. I just I just kind of let my mind take control and think all of the bad things even though I shouldn't. Number two, take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath. Focus on your breathing. I feel like when I'm getting anxious, I just kind of take some deep breaths and focus on my breathing and that helps me focus on something besides what I'm worrying about. Number three, like I said, stop playing or stop yourself from playing every bad scenario in your head. Number four, write your emotions down on paper. I have a notebook specifically for my cancer where I just, every time I feel something that has to do with cancer, I write it down in that notebook just so I can separate it from all my other notes. I've said this before, but writing stuff down is just such a release for me. And I feel like once I have it written down, I don't have to think about it anymore, which is just really therapeutic for me. So it helps me and it might help you too. Three, remember that worrying isn't going to change the outcome that is already inevitable, that's already gonna happen. Uh, there's a Bible verse and it says, worrying isn't going to add another hour to your life. And I think that's so true. Worrying is only gonna waste time thinking about stuff and worrying about stuff that may never even happen. Um, so I just try to live in the moment and take every day as a gift, every healthy day, every day that I'm alive as a gift and try not to worry about the future that is literally out of your control. Number four or five, I forgot. I'm just gonna start saying them. Acknowledge your feelings and know it's normal to feel this way before a big result. I catch myself sometimes just thinking, Lauren, why are you sad? Why are you feeling this way? I try to stop myself because it's okay to not be okay, especially through what we go through as cancer patients. It's very difficult and it's very scary and it is more than okay to not feel okay. Talk it out. If you're a person that likes to talk it out, I don't know if I'm a talk it out person or not. It's like I bottle it up and then I just kind of pour it out onto my mom or something when I'm talking to her. Um, but it's not good to bottle up emotions and I'm still learning that myself. Like, Lauren, you need to talk this out. It's not good to keep it inside your brain. And if you need to go to therapy, that is completely okay. I talk to my therapist occasionally. They provide at the hospital and it just, it really helps me a lot just to let it all out. Take a relaxing bath 
or have a relaxing night the night before do a little self-care okay when i have a stressful day i like to take a bath and put some lavender like lavender bath bomb or bath salts or something and then just do a face mask and read a book um just do whatever and that helps me a lot just to have a relaxing night before I go to bed. So yeah, those are all the tips I have in my personal experiences on skin anxiety. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and tell me if you want me to talk about any other topics on cancer for this little mini series. And make sure to subscribe so you never miss another video like this one. So I will see y'all not next week, but in a few days. I hope you all have a great day. Bye!